Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at what we call the addition and subtraction formulas. These formulas along with the half angle formulas are among the most useful trigonometric identities you can put in your memory. And so let's start with the addition and subtraction formulas. Now they may be a little bit difficult to memorize but it spend a little time on it, it's not so bad. Starting with the sine of a plus b, this is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the sine of b times the cosine of a. The sine of a minus b is equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of b times the cosine of a. Now when we come to the cosine, that's a little bit different. The cosine of a plus b is the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a times the sine of b. And the cosine of a minus b is the cosine of a times the cosine of b. And the only thing that's different is that this becomes a plus sine of a times the sine of b. All right. So when you look at that, you see some patterns. Notice that it's the sine and the cosine, sine and the cosine. The plus sign matches, the negative sign matches. Simply the angles change. Here you have AB, and there you have BA. On the cosine, it's cosine times cosine, sine times sine. When you have plus here, there's a minus here. When you have a minus here, there's a plus there. So that's how you can memorize those. As far as the tangent is concerned, this is equal to the tangent of A plus the tangent of B. And make that a tangent, tangent of, and I want to, don't want to use small letters, tangent of A, tangent of B, divided by 1, and here the sign switches. If this is a plus, this becomes a minus tangent of A times the tangent of B. And the tangent of A minus B is equal to the tangent of A minus the tangent of B, divided by, and here the sign changes, 1 plus the tangent of A times the tangent of of B. All right, so those are kind of weird patterns, and we've done this without proving to you that they work. We haven't shown any examples yet, so what we're going to do next is we're going to prove these one at a time so that you know that these are absolutely correct and where that came from, and then we're going to show you some examples of actually how to utilize those. Utilize them is easier than proving them, which you will see in just a moment. But at least, again, take a good look at these. These are very useful trigonometric identities. We call them addition and subtraction formulas, and you want to try to memorize these. At least the sines and the cosine ones, they come in very, very handy in a lot of situations. So there you have it.